Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to demo and give you my first impression along with a wear test on the brand new Lancome foundation. This is the Tint E Dole Care and Glow foundation. So they had the original, which is a cult favorite. I actually wore the original on my wedding day. It's long wear, it's a matte finish, but it doesn't look really dry. But this is their new version, which is supposed to be more glowy. So we're gonna just demo it. I'll give you my initial thoughts, some close-ups, and then I'll do check-ins throughout the day and we'll see how it wears. As as always, everything I use today will be linked down below in my description box. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe and stick around. And if you enjoy these videos, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And without further ado, let's get into trying out the new Lancome foundation. Before we get into the demo, I do like to go over the product information. So this is called the Tint E Dole Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation. Brand new from Lancome, it is $47. You do get one ounce. I picked mine up from Sephora. I think you can also get it on their website and I'm sure it will be coming to different retailers very soon. The bottle is glass and it does have a white cap. So I like that it's a little bit different because the original uh, Tint E Dole has more of like a frost sort of matte bottle with a black cap so you can definitely tell them apart. So there are 30 shades in this foundation. I do have to say I don't know what's going on with the swatches here. I feel like they looked uh, very gray and it was really hard to find a shade and also the shade range just doesn't look super inclusive. I'm almost wondering just from some of the Sephora uh, reviews that I saw where they send out product to people for free to try. I was trying to look through those swatches and some of them appear darker in those photos than the promo photos. So I'm wondering if this line right here is more like tan deep because right there it's almost looking like medium but I feel like this is kind of washed out and it's not true to color. I felt like I had a hard time figuring out a shade. So unless I saw them in person, I really don't know how deep the shades actually go. I just don't feel like this is honestly true to color. So because I was unsure, I went with 240W, which is supposed to be light with warm peachy yellow undertones. Typically I'd go for a neutral, but like I said, all of these looked very gray. Now this foundation does have an SPF. It has that random SPF 27, which I don't know why brands do that but it does have an SPF if that's something that you're into or not so much. So this claims to have a medium coverage with a natural finish. It says a 24 hour transfer resistant, healthy looking glow serum foundation with buildable medium coverage, SPF 27. So we will see how you know glowy it is because in the name it says glow, but it does say a natural finish. So I'm wondering if it'll be not super heavy or glowy. And I really wanna see what type of coverage this has, but also how long this lasts. For reference, I do have combo oily skin. So I do get very oily in my T-zone. Uh, I also have texture, redness, acne. So I like something usually that's matte because I like how long it lasts. Anything that's super emollient, dewy, typically just slides off my face like that. Also wanted to be very clear that I do not use filters in my videos. I use zero filters in my videos. I zoom in. I got a comment on my e.l.f. video saying that uh, it's really hard to see with the beauty filters. I don't have any filters on. I have a high-tech lens with my Canon 80D. The background is blurry, but my hands and me are not. So sometimes when I'm moving, I think that the autofocus on the camera is really trying to keep up. I mean, technology can only do so much. So I feel like because my background is blurry, I feel like sometimes people mistake that for like a filter or something. If you know, you know I don't use filters. So I zoom in, I've shown myself looking absolutely horrible, like so much so that I felt embarrassed to post some of the videos I've posted. So now that I've said my little disclaimer, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in and let's go ahead and start applying. So I already applied moisturizer before I started this video and I am gonna go in with a pore smoothing primer just in my T-zone. I do this every single day. I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush. This is my favorite. I'm almost out of it. Uh, the pump broke, so that's why I'm using it like this. Uh, but I always just use it right here. I don't pull it all over. I don't ever really go without a pore smoothing primer no matter the foundation. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the sides of my nose. Okay, so as I said, I got the shade 240W. It does have a pump, so I'm just gonna pump out 
one pump to start and I'm gonna use a brush on this side of my face it does look a little bit yellowish but honestly like I said the neutral shades just looked so gray I just feel like their promo photos were off also it does have a scent it's kind of like perfumey which hmm I don't know why brands insist on putting fragrance into like every makeup product especially like foundation or concealer or powder so this is one light layer with a brush i'm probably going to build it up a little bit i feel like the coverage is i would say low end of medium initially i'm sure you can build it to medium it doesn't feel thick or overly emollient let's say like the kosas foundation or the danessa myrix yummy skin those ones are just super emollient or the charlotte tilbury very very heavy skincare based this actually feels comfortable and looking at the finish i would agree natural it's not flat matte but it's not overly glowy so i'm going to go in on the other side i just did two pumps over here i'm going to use a sponge and see which I prefer. Okay, so looking at both sides, I don't really see much of a difference in terms of application. So I zoomed you in as much as I possibly could, and this is what the foundation is looking like. I do like the finish of it. I feel like it does have a nice, pretty glow to it, and it doesn't feel heavy, like I said. I do think the coverage is leaning more on light medium, in my opinion, so I wanna see if I can build it, but I just wanted to show you initially like one layer on the skin if you wanted more of like a natural look. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to add another layer and see if we can kind of even out the redness like around my nose and just, you know, my cheek area, acne scarring, all of that stuff. Okay, so I'm going in to try to build up, which it seems to be doing nicely. So if you want more of like a full medium coverage, I would say you might have to layer a little bit, but it's also nice if you just want more of a like a light medium coverage, just sort of even your skin tone out, you can just do like one layer. All right, so here's what the skin is looking like with two layers. I feel like it looks really nice. It's not enhancing my texture. Again, not a very heavy formula, but it is giving me a nice glow to the skin without being greasy. So this might be a great option for those of you that wanna have that glow, but don't have dry skin. I feel like that's something that I struggle with. I really wanna look dewy, but it just slides off my face or really makes my texture look really bad. So what I'm gonna do quickly is go off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and then we're gonna start our wear test, and I wanna see how this wears throughout the day. Okay, so I finished my makeup off camera. I will link everything that I'm wearing down below, but looking at my skin, I do feel like this is very comparable to the original Tint Idol, just on my first impression. It just has a little bit less coverage, but it is buildable, and I do see a little bit more of a radiance to it. This is not a overly hydrating product, as I mentioned before. I have high hopes for this. I feel like this is gonna wear well. It did not enhance my texture, which a lot of glow foundations do, and it works beautifully with powder. So for me, it's good so far. I wanna see how how it wears throughout the day. So I will pop back in for a couple check-ins throughout the day. I wanna see if it's gonna break apart, if I'm gonna get super oily, if my texture is gonna be enhanced. So I'm gonna go about my day. I'm gonna walk Roscoe. It's raining, so I'm really gonna put it to the test, but I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, guys, so I'm back from my first check-in. Time got away from me a little bit, but it is 4.17 now. I've been wearing this foundation for a little over five hours at this point. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with how it's wearing. I feel like I'm getting a little little bit shiny in my t-zone but honestly it's wearing very similarly to the original which is long wear for me i didn't use a setting spray or anything you know extra today so i really am curious to see how this does in the next couple hours i would say i'm gonna go for like an eight hour wear test just to really see if i start like having any you know breaking up or any dryness enhanced but as of right now i'm not having any wear just a little bit of my natural oils coming through which really doesn't bother me at all I don't feel the need to powder or anything like that so I do want to see what happens in the next few hours that'll be key if it's something where I feel like it's really enhancing my texture and it's really bothering me but I don't feel that right now so this is wearing really nicely it's really flattering especially for a glowy 
foundation, typically those are not the most forgiving on my texture. So, like I said, it's about four, you know, 20 ish right now. I will check back in probably around like seven ish, something like that, and just kind of give my thoughts after a good eight hour wear test. So, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Okay guys, so I'm back for my final check-in. I'm covered in dog hair. I'm ready to take my lashes off, but I have to say the foundation is looking pretty good. So it is 7.56 p.m. It's almost eight o'clock, which means I've been wearing this for almost nine hours. I feel like I have a really good idea of how this is gonna wear if you have similar skin type to me. Honestly, I'm pretty shocked at how well this is worn. I don't feel like I have really any sort of like transfer or breaking apart. I don't feel that I look overly oily or greasy, which is kind of what I expected. I definitely have some oils coming through on my T-zone and I do notice just a little bit of wear again on my chin and it is starting to cling and look a little bit dry on my chin area. That is something that I struggle with because I do get oily down here, but I do have acne. So sometimes when I use like my retinol or just acne treatments, it can get a little bit dry and flaky down there. So that's, you know, the only thing I'm really noticing. Other than that, I just notice a little bit of oil that could easily be touched up with powder. I'm pretty impressed. I feel like this is, again, just a more natural, little bit more luminous version of the original Tint Idol. So overall, I think it's a really nice option, especially for summer. If you want something that's like a light, medium coverage, buildable, you want a little bit of luminosity, but you don't want your texture enhanced and you don't want the slipping and sliding. I think this is great. Again, my only complaints would be I would have preferred no SPF and also the fragrance. I just don't feel as needed, but Beyond that, I think this is gonna be a hit. I think a lot of people are really gonna enjoy this foundation. So you guys will have to let me know what you think down below. Again, nine hours of wear. This is pretty good, especially for a skincare glow type of foundation. So overall, I'm quite impressed. I'll keep trying it out and keep you guys updated as I keep wearing it. Have you tried it though? Are you going to pick it up? I would love to know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. Uh, and thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.